Hello there, welcome back to my channels. In this video, I would like to talk about presets and cool ways, just like samples, well-known samples, unknown samples, uh, things that it's not your own, how to make it your own, how to transform it into something that's not recognizable when put face to face or head to head with the original thing. And presets from, for example, my good old friend, the Unfinished or Plugin Guru are a good example. A lot of them are recognizable, just like my own. And um, yeah, so in this video, I would like to sh show you cool ways to transform them. Uh, let's uh, start with a loop or a sequence, not this. Um, sequence, I said. Maybe an ARP instead, uh, not in Gravastar, uh, here in Kronos. So let's just record that. And it's quite recognizable for, especially for the, the people who work with them. And uh, many people think that is cheating uh, to use presets or something. And I have a completely different opinion. And this is what this video is all about. Let's record this part. have two boys of counting. Okay, enough. Now I'm gonna make it longer. Uh, adapt here the length. Not force legato. Boom. And here we go. It's in triplets, which I don't like. So we go to the ARP and change the value to much better. Let's add some movement here in the model wheel. Here. Uh, So that's our preset. There are thousands of, way, uh, thousands of ways to make it absolutely unrecognizable by using other plugins. And uh, one of my favorite for that purpose is Tantra by Dmitry Skes. It's now available through uh, Plugin Alliance, if I remember correctly. Listen to this, still our original preset. Yet, for some people, it's still not enough. They don't want to recognize that sample. So, haha, <laughs> I have some news for you. Let's render this to audio and bypass FX plugins. And, and here we go. And I can change. Let's transform that into a polyphonic thing and just That's one of my plugins, but you can all, you can also stack them up, and I will uh, show you that. So, on top of Tantra, I'm gonna use 
uh, Logic's own step effects. I, I've got my pointillizer. At that point, I don't think you can recognize the original preset anymore. But let's keep digging here. Uh, let's go for AU Pitch by Apple. It's one of the audio unit plugins they developed with the developer tools. Put that before Tantra. Let's choose another one. And let's go for something different to finish it off like uh, uh, not none of those I would go for yeah we have fraction by sign vibes that's really cool for that loop operator we also have uh, tornado that's not on this list because it's my list of favorites but we also have like uh, shaper box oh why dual mono me silly uh, stereo and we can just change here the trimming and the loop length add it, another dimension to it and add eventually another uh, like tam time and in time we can select oh yeah no the the presets are uh, in this really funny <laughs> so you can agree that at this point we cannot recognize the original preset anymore let's uh yeah forgot to that was the original and we come up with this one Let's finish it off with another fat effects with a bit of dance sampling. Random hole in here on the dance sampler. Compressor. Ah, we've got two LFOs here, which is cool. Uh, run down, filter cutoff, another value like an eighth note. my final thing my final part and we are coming from here that's the uh, comparison and we can 
keep going on and on and on and on and on. This is uh, the fabulous world of tweaking samples, presets, and etc., etc., etc. Presets have always been there. Uh, if it weren't for a few presets on my favorite Korg synthesizers or Roland synthesizers back in the 90s, I wouldn't stand here and well, with you on this channel talking about how to tweet them. Thanks again for watching. See you in a future video. Bye.